Disease Research. What's energizing the specialists? Section 2. Disease research proceeds at a rankling pace. Malignancy is certifiably not a solitary infection yet an assortment of illnesses. It is intricate and doesn't promptly surrender its insider facts. Notwithstanding the difficulties malignancy stances, researchers and clinicians keep on sharpening the manner by which they analyze and treat it. Current medication implies that finding rates for some, tumors are up, as are endurance rates. Notwithstanding, with an expected 19.3 million new instances of malignancy worldwide in 2020, there is still a lot of work to be finished. MNT as of late reached various clinical specialists and analysts and got some information about the parts of malignant growth research that they find generally energizing. Their answers are captivating and show the unimaginable assortment of approaches that researchers are utilizing to comprehend and battle disease. Microbes and Attraction We will begin the present excursion into state-of-the-art oncology with an amazing visitor, attractively responsive microbes. Because of the trouble of focusing on fundamentally conveyed therapeutics for malignancy, interest has filled in abusing organic specialists to upgrade tumor collection, clarified Professor Simone Sherla Fink, PhD, from ETH Zurich in Switzerland. As such, getting malignant growth medications to the ideal spot isn't just about as direct as one would trust. Professor Sherla Fink is among the analysts who are presently enrolling the assistance of particular microscopic organisms. She revealed to MNT how researchers have known for a century that specific microbes can colonize tumors and trigger relapse. She clarified that today, on account of current hereditary designing methods, weakened microscopic organisms are accessible that can have a restorative impact precisely where this is vital. These remedial impacts incorporate emission of poisons, contest for supplements, and adjustment of resistant reactions. Nonetheless, regardless of the guarantee of bacterial malignancy treatment, there are still difficulties to meet. Conveying the dosages to the correct spot and getting them into the tumor stay, first among challenges hampering clinical interpretation, just about 1% of a foundationally infused portion arrives at the tumor, clarified Professor Sherla Fink. To address these difficulties, her group at ETH Zurich is utilizing attractively responsive microbes. These alleged magnetotactic microbes normally situate themselves, like compass needles to Earth's attractive field. Albeit this capacity developed for root, researchers are quick to see if, attractive guiding or pulling, could permit them to repurpose it for disease conveyance. In a new report, Professor Sherla Fink and her associates utilized pivoting attractive fields to supersede the microorganism's normal impetus. As the creators of the investigation clarify, they utilized multitudes of magnetotactic microscopic organisms to make a directable, living ferrofluid. These magnetotactic microorganisms have a popularity for iron, so once they arrive at the tumor, as Professor Sherla Fink told MNT, they can metabolically impact disease cells through starvation from this fundamental supplement. We have displayed in vitro models that an expanding number of microscopic organisms initiate an upregulation of iron searching receptors and passing in disease cells. By joining designing standards and manufactured science, we intend to give another structure to bacterial disease treatment that tends to a significant leftover obstacle by working on the productivity of bacterial conveyance utilizing protected and adaptable attractive boosts to these promising living helpful stages. Professor Simone Sherla Fink, PhD. Customized Medication Customized medication is changing the scene of medication and how medical services suppliers can offer and plan customized care for every one of their patients, trusts Dr. Santosh Kesari, PhD, Head of Neuro-Oncology at Providence St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, CA. Dr. Kesari is additionally seat of the Department of Translational Neurosciences at St. John's Cancer Institute and Territorial Clinical Chief for the Research Clinical Institute of Providence Southern California. Portraying customized medication, Dr. Kesari said, it's anything but a methodology for illness anticipation and treatment that considers natural, hereditary, conduct, ecological, and social danger factors that are special to each person. He proceeded, Customized medication is established in early identification and avoidance, coordinating information from genomics and other cutting-edge innovations, advanced well-being checking, and consolidating the most recent clinical developments for streamlining results. 
This is getting evident in oncology, where hereditary testing for tumor transformations and inclinations is progressively being used and showing more worth in utilizing designated sedates all the more astutely and further developing results. Dr. Santosh Kesari, PhD. Some customized malignancy approaches are as of now being used, like EGFR, HER2, and NTRK inhibitors and the, very customized, CAR T-cells. As per Dr. Kesari, the eventual fate of personalization is brilliant, and progress has just sped up in the previous five years. Chronotherapy. Counting down malignant growth. Proceeding with the personalization topic, Dr. Robert Dahlman from Warwick Medical School at Warwick University in the United Kingdom conversed with us about chronotherapy. Pushed by the 2017 Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology, going to three circadian researcher for revealing the subatomic instrument of circadian natural timekeepers, malignancy chronotherapy is acquiring basic force to enter standard oncology, particularly with regards to customized medication. Dr. Dahlman clarified that, many key physiological cycles in the cells of our body are regulated in a day-by-day -day design by the circadian clock. These cell checks are disturbed in certain tumors however not in others. Strangely, a practical check in the tumor predicts the endurance season of patients, which has been displayed for cerebrum just as bosom tumors. Thusly, he clarified, if researchers could decide the check status in strong tumors, it would permit specialists to all the more effectively decide if a patient is at high or okay. It may likewise assist with directing treatment. There is extraordinary potential in upgrading treatment plans with existing medications by considering the collaboration with the circadian arrangement of the patient, proceeded with Dr. Dahlman. All the more as of late, the circadian clock system itself has been proposed as a novel therapy focus in glioblastoma. The creators of the glioblastoma study reasoned that, pharmacologic focusing of circadian organizations explicitly upset disease immature microorganism development and self-restoration. In any case, regardless of whether this may be summed up to numerous strong tumors or considerably other persistent illnesses still needs to be clarified, said Dr. Dahlman. In outline, he told MNT, circadian timekeepers have for quite some time been perceived to balance ongoing illness on numerous levels. The expanded robotic agreement can possibly further develop conclusion and existing therapies of malignant growth, just as foster another class of clock focusing on medicines. Kidney Malignant Growth Blend Treatment Dr. Chung Han Lee is a clinical oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. He is likewise an individual from the Kidney Cancer Association's Medical Steering Committee. He talked us through ongoing advances in the therapy of kidney malignancy. The turn of events and resulting administrative endorsement of blend immunotherapy for patients with metastatic kidney malignancy have prompted extraordinary change in the existences of numerous patients and are the sign of what more noteworthy logical agreement has meant for disease care, Dr. Lee told MNT. Before 2005, therapy for metastatic kidney malignant growth was exceptionally restricted, with most patients dying in under one year in spite of going through treatment. According to Dr. Lee, the advancement of antiangiogenic drugs that restrain the development of fresh blood vessels, was among the primary forward leaps to work on the results for patients. Nonetheless, even with antiangiogenic drugs, most patients eventually created protection from treatment, and year and a half was viewed as a drawn-out reaction. Next came immunotherapies. Before the advancement of antiangiogenic prescriptions, it was realized that kidney malignant growth could be treated by actuating the resistant framework to more readily perceive the infection. In any case, the devices to enact the safe framework were frequently extremely vague. Thusly, reactions to these early immunotherapies were uncommon, and the results identified with treatment were oppressive as well as could be hazardous. With late advances in immunotherapy, we have exhibited that more designated immunotherapies that enact explicit invulnerable designated spots are conceivable as well as can have significantly expanded movement against sickness. Two arising therapy approaches have now gotten the new norm of care for kidney malignancy. Double immunotherapies, for example, ipilimumab, nivolumab, or blends of antiangiogenic designated treatments with immunotherapies, for example, axitinib, pembrolizumab. In patients treated with ipilimumab and nivolumab, more than half stay alive at four years, and with some combined antiangiogenic and immunotherapy approaches, almost half of patients stay on their underlying treatment at two years. In spite of these advances, 
Dr. Lee is a long way from careless, disclosing to us that there stays extensive work to be finished. Opening square bracket ellipsis. Unfortunately, in 2021, for most patients, kidney malignant growth stays deadly. In any event, for the individuals who have exceptional reactions to treatment, most still require progressing foundational treatment. With the fast upgrades in medicines, the advancement of correlative biomarkers, and the worked-on biologic comprehension of the infection, we have.